This program is dedicated to the men and women of the United States Armed Forces, past, present, and future. Meet Keith Warren. As a 30-year veteran of the outdoor industry and devoted conservationist, the original Texas angler and outdoor television icon has hunted around the world and across America. Showing you big game, educating outdoorsmen, and uniting all hunters. That's Keith Warren, and this is The High Road. I hate the off season uh, when it's not hunting season because <laughs> it's kind of boring. Unless you find places like this, and there's places like this all over the United States, feed stores, and every feed store's got basically the same problem, and they got bird problems, and I'm here to fix the bird problems. Let me show you what this rifle does. This right here is the group, 10 shot group, 20 yards, with the SOCOM Extreme. Nice grouping, it has plenty of power, and the group is with the match grade pellets. This is a 177 caliber air gun. Now, the gun itself is one bad dude. This is, again, Gamo's SOCOM Extreme, and I'm gonna show you what it'll do right now on pigeons. I uh, manage a lawn and garden feed store, grain elevator, and have for 38 years here. At McQueenie Mill and Grain, we sell lots of products, uh, lots of lawn and garden, pet foods, are a huge part of our business. You know, deer pellets, range cubes, cattle feeds, all exotic feeds, chicken feeds, whatever the local people need is what I try to stock. The pigeon problems at McQueenie Mill here are, are daily. They're in and out of the warehouse. I've got a 90 by 150 foot warehouse back there and believe me not, with the big open overhead doors we have, we can have 15 or 20 pigeons in here sometimes. Actually, they will tear into a bag. They do mess things up. Along with eating the grain and spilling it, they're, you know, they're droppings behind them as they go too. And then you, gotta, you have to wipe that off before you load a bag. You got to tape the bags. And it's, it's just a problem that we have here. So they're in and out here all day long. They're after the spilled grain all the time like that. And uh, it, it is a problem that I'd like to do something about if possible. With the problem we have, I know Mr. Keith Warren, who is a hunting show, and I know he hunts and fishes. And I thought, you know, it possibly during the off season, I could get him here to display some of his you know, products that he used. I know he uses the Gamo air gun, which is a powerful pellet rifle that would probably do the job. The reason why birds love hanging around feed stores like this, these are great big grain bins and the pigeons will work these because there's always grain outside of them. The trucks will pull up underneath here. This auger will pump down into the trucks. It'll drop down and what happens here, this is just basically spillage. What do you think of that? So calm extreme. So calm extreme. These guys are so good to eat. Cook them up just like a dove. Look at here. Baby, smoked him. What do you think about that? We got a good crowd of them this morning. I mean, there's a good crowd of them. Those of you out there that are sitting here and saying, well, you shoot them off the high lines. You're not supposed to be shooting them off the high lines. This SOCOM Extreme is incredibly accurate. That is a 15 yard shot and dropped him like a stone. I would not recommend shooting off of high lines unless you are exactly positively sure of where you're gonna hit and you have permission from the landowner that it's okay to do so. That was awesome. No need to be real quiet. Right? The good thing is the birds are used to this all day long. We've got some actually landing up there now. Ooh, ooh, ooh. There's a whole bunch of them up there. They're 
Ça pue en retard. Got him. Got him. Oh, 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 oh smoke them. Yeah, when you wind up shooting one, the rest of them fly. So we got to get reloaded and back in position. Got him. What do you think of that? little lead pellets. Smoked him, baby. Ooh -wee. We're gonna have a pile of them here in a minute. I'm gonna just keep kind of poking around. You shoot them off this side, they go to the other side. High Road with Keith One is brought to you in part by Gamma Precision Air Rifles, Glock, Record Rack, Oilfield Camo, and Heartcraft Hunting Products. The town of McQueenie is uh, lots of history, which I've only been here 38 years, but years ago when we moved here, there was dairies on both sides of the road, a steel mill, and now we have a gypsum plant. Uh, the old bridge, it goes in front of the old road by our house. That bridge was closed in the 70s. There was an old cotton gin in McQueenie. A lot of history because there still is some old stores that have been remodeled, revamped. There's restaurants down there now, several bars, and plenty of churches. The Southern Pacific, Union Pacific Railroad now passes here in front of the store. It's the main line. It passes usually once every hour. The line that goes through ours is a siding that goes to the steel mill and it goes to the gypsum plant. And it passes two or three times a day also. It makes plenty of noise. It's all welded rail now, so it doesn't keep you awake at night anyway. It is a family run business. My wife and I have worked together here at this location for 38 years. I was much appreciative of Keith Warren to come down helping with the problem with the Gamma rifle but he doesn't know that rifle's gonna stay here when he leaves. There's more pigeons up on that right there than you can shake a stick at. We're gonna go to work on them in just a second. I'm telling you what, it's gotten warm. Look at them up there. <laughs> what do you think about that? Oh man, they're flying all over. All right, let's go ahead and take one of these out. Got him. Whew, baby. Look up here. Let's sneak over here, see if we can roll one of these guys off that rail. Oh. There's one that's got a white head on him, see him? Well, I hit him. Look at the feathers. Can't kill them all the time. That was a long shot, too. That was probably a good 40 yards. All right, I'm taking the one on the right. You there? Got him, got him. They're just up on top of that green bin, just sitting there, hit me, coach, hit me. I think I will. Little lead pellets. All right, here it goes. Got him. There are so many birds flying right now, it's amazing. And uh, I want to tell you that there's places like this all over the United States that have pigeons. And all I recommend you to do, if you want to do this, make sure it's legal, make sure you have permission, and then have fun. Be careful and have fun. You know, pigeons are great to eat. In Texas, there's no limit on them. And, and um, this is a SOCOM Extreme by Gamo. It is what I call the flagship product for them right now. Gamo's always pushing themselves to come up with better value products. 
ones that will perform better year after year. And the SOCOM Extreme is so good, I don't know the, how they're going to come up with something better, but they assure me they're going to. But I'm going to say this is living proof, but it's dead proof that the SOCOM Extreme is a, is one bad dude. I mean, it's awesome for jackrabbits and possums and squirrels and you name it, pigeons. It's, it's pretty awesome. And McQueenie, Texas is not a real big metropolis area, but uh, it's right around the corner from where I live, and uh, we're helping them right now with the pigeon problem. And I want to thank Jim for allowing me the opportunity to come down here and help him out with this pigeon problem. And I want to also thank each and every one of y'all at home for taking time to watch and log on to our Facebook page and, and just being a part of our program. I really appreciate it. I'm Keith Warren. I always remember to take the high road. The High Road with Keith Warren is brought to you in part by Reconnaissance Game Cameras, Savage Arms, The Yukon Cold Lock by Igloo, Grizzly Cartridge Company, and Jardin Consumer Solutions, makers of the Game Saver. Off Power Polaris presents Viewer Feedback. Hello, Keith. It's Bubba in Arkansas. Uh, Y'all are going to like this one. This is a good guy. I met you while you were on the way to Missouri. I'm finally to the point where I want to try hunting in a preserve. I'm tired of sitting all day and not seeing any animals and tired of the public hunters, thinking that it's their, quote, right to hunt. Hunting isn't a right, at least in my opinion. Americans have rights, but unless it's stated in the law, the way I see it is hunting is a privilege. What do you think? Bubba, you're fixing to get me in all kinds of trouble here with some folks. All right, to answer your question, is hunting a right or a privilege, in my opinion? It is not a right. Hunting is a privilege. Uh, Bubba, I think you're absolutely right that if hunting was a right, it would be stated like that in a law that we have the right. Now, there are some states that are making hunting a right, and I think that's a pretty cool deal. But until hunting becomes a right everywhere, I think the hunters need to realize that hunting is a privilege. Hey folks, I'm Scott Bachmeyer with Dakota Prairie Outdoors Radio. The radio program heard across North and South Dakota covering more than just that, about five other states, but go around, shoot some prairie dogs, shoot any kind of game, get the information out there. <laughs> Rolled him! We're doing some road hunting and it's legal to do this in North Dakota as long as the truck is stopped. And I promise you the truck came to a full stop first caught him out of his hole. See, the deal is, if we're catching him out of the hole, I need to go those. Thank you, sir. If you catch him out of the hole, it'll roll them on their tails, but otherwise they kind of run back for cover and die there. Look at that. Looks like a buck tooth teacher I had. Boy, that's a neat little critter, though. People think, oh, they're so cute. They are cute. It's just the destruction they do to the land is horrible. So we do our we do our destruction on them. Look at those claws. It's amazing. Golly, I need to have a chin strap to hold on my hat on. Ooh, I got lucky on this one. Look at here. This one didn't make it back in the hole. Almost did. Oh, 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 oh. that's a big one right there. But he didn't make it back in the hole. Look at the size of this dude. They were jokingly telling me how they were measuring them. And this is, I guess, about a 14 incher. The length from tip to tail. 14 inches and that right there he didn't happen to make it in you know sometimes you can get lucky and even with a little projectile hit him and just KO him right on the spot but as you can see he was kind of like plugging up the hole we'll put him right back where he was there you go go down there and say hi to your buddies
may not look like I killed a bunch today, but I promise you, I have slain a bunch of them. And this is the Silent Stalker Whisper by Gamma, 177 caliber. And the thing about it is, it's extremely accurate. I can't think of a better place to air one out to try it than in the open prairie like this. I mean, it's got, this is tough conditions. Uh, this gun right here would be great for somebody that's a squirrel hunter or a rabbit hunter or heck, prairie dog hunter for that matter. But anyway, uh, it just doesn't have enough energy to drop the dead instantly without them falling in the hole. And so anyway, there's a bunch of them dead down the ground, but I've had a heck of a good time and I've field tested this brand new product and I promise you, it works like a champ. This thing's going back to Texas and I'm going to take care of some squirrels in the backyard. 45, baby. Ay, 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 ay. Now, my gamo has been doing some damage to him, but it hadn't been doing that big of damage. Look at that. <laughs> Folks, that is a 45 auto Glock right there. And that's a mama dog. That's a dogette, a prairie dogette. And look how far away from the hole it was. One big step and a, another half a big step right here. That is awesome. Again, I'm gonna do a little bit of bragging on my Glock. Okay, this is model 21, 45. And I'm telling you something, it is bad to the bone. <laughs> you like it, don't you? I, I, gotta, I need to get myself a savage. I know, I know. It's like they're so bad. The High Road with Keith Warren is brought to you in part by. Striker Crossbows, Half Power Polaris, Burt Coyotes, Luminoc and Luminaries, Shadow Hunter, your total comfort hunting blind, Elevators, your easy way up, the new Supercharged Scent Killer by Wildlife Research Center, Beyond 99%, and BSA Optics. Terry, I sure do appreciate you inviting me out here to, to uh, hunt on your ranch here. It's, uh, it's, it's been a great, great uh, opportunity for me. I uh, found out once I got out here that you own a processing plant too, and uh, you have a lot of the animals out here processed at your place. Yes, sir, we do. Uh, in my facility, we've got a big commercial unit. Of course, it's not portable. And uh, pretty interested about this. This is uh, pretty convenient, real portable, and uh, I'd like to see what I'll do. Well, these are a couple new units that uh, my company's just come out with, and they're designed exclusively for the, uh, the, the outdoorsman, if you will. It's their heavier duty models than, uh, than some of the kitchen models that, uh, that we do on our houseware side of our business. And when I say uh, exclusive to the outdoorsman, they're made uh, for repetitive sealing. They have uh, heavy duty uh, commercial grade uh, motors within, and uh, these have actually uh, got built in uh, a place to put uh, storage for your rolls, uh, for liquid pull, you have a little tray there so you don't get liquid pulled into the motor, uh, heavy duty ceiling bars, but, uh, but this is pretty uh, pretty neat little operation with this uh, brand new uh, item that we've got. You can actually use it as 12 volt, which I'll, I'll show you how to use here. Okay, yeah, makes you see that. This is a very cool machine. Why don't you go ahead and fire the truck up here so we can, uh, we can show how this 12 volt works. And uh, we've got a 20 foot long cord, as you can see here. Runs all the way from the cigarette lighter, plugs into the back of the machine here. Let me show you how this is going to work. We're going to basically make a bag at this point in time. You can make it any, any length you want, so we'll just pull out our bag material. We're going to lock it down, and to make a bag we're going to just hit seal at this point. So we've got a little red light on there, and as soon as the red light's off we're going to know that the bag is made. Then what we're going to do is we're going to come in here and we're going to cut it off and we've got a bag made at this point in time. As you can see, we've got a, a nice big seal across huh. here. 
So the bag is made. Now that's convenient. That is convenient. Now what we're going to do is I'm going to take some sausage here that I just had made up. I'll show, to show you how it works. I'm going to take it out of my other bag. I'm going to throw it into the new bag. I'm going to lay this halfway into the vacuum chamber like so. Push the lid down, lock it, and then as you can see it's got a vacuum seal on it. It's got a sensor built into the machine itself and it knows when all of the air is extracted. Once all the air is extracted, it automatically turns it off and it does the whole process for you, which is very cool. See, it's taking out all the air. Air is actually what the cause is of, uh, of when your meat gets spoiled in, the, in your ice box with the freezer burn. So once all the air is out, you have no, uh, no chance of that happening. So this meat lasts you up to five years. Once it's done, you just open the lid got it made there. It's a slick little process. Like I was saying a while ago, I've got a commercial unit in my processing facility, and that actually cycled as quick or quicker than my commercial model did. That's, that's great. I'm impressed. Think about that. Very, very impressed. That is cool. So, now this is actually the only machine that we've got that can use be used in the outdoors is 12 volt. We've got another machine we've just come out with here. It's got a little bit of the mossy oak camo uh, appeal to it, which is very cool. If the wife doesn't like it sitting on the counter with the, uh, the camo, it's actually got a flip up to it that it can just sit straight up on the counter and all you've got is the black. Huh. That's, a, that's a very cool unit too. Pretty convenient. Yep. Now you think you know how to use this thing? I do, I believe I can handle it. Let's go get some meat. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> <laughs> 